Tracy. We have, our staff has been working with several people in the community on how to approve the processing for permits. I'm looking forward to seeing that report this week so we can talk about it on Tuesday night. So we are already moving forward in trying to get businesses to come to Tracy by getting things in place now when the economy improves that we'll be able to be ahead of the game of everybody else. Thank you. Jeff Davis. Good evening. Are you for or against the proposed new South County Courthouse being located in Tracy and why? I'm not opposed to having a South County Courthouse here in Tracy. Um, we, it's kind of twofold. One, it's, we're working with the county on providing them with different locations that would be possible to have it here. And we want to make sure that we're part of where their decision is going to be. They're going to make a decision whether or not they want to come to Tracy, but we need to also be a voice in their ear about where that location may be. So there are some places available. We have presented those. I have talked with Supervisor Analysis about some of those locations. So it's now continuing to work with them on what would be best for Tracy and for the county. Thank you. First off, first off, I am not opposed to bringing a courthouse to Tracy. I think it would be a good addition to the city. I am, however, opposed to bringing a courthouse downtown. Bottom line, I think that bringing a courthouse to the downtown area is is going to defeat much of what we've tried to accomplish over the years in, in creating the atmosphere in our downtown area. I think that providing a courthouse down there, as we all know, it, it brings uh, businesses that aren't really conducive to what the downtown plan has been and, and the look of the downtown area. It brings pawn shops, it brings bail bondsmen, and, and it brings people waiting around courthouses that um, are, are sometimes less than of, of questionable character. Um, I, I think that that's something that we, we, we have to look at seriously. Having a courthouse in Tracy is a good idea. It's not a good idea to have it in the downtown area. Thank you. As I said before, I'm really excited because um, we could have a Justice Center out at Crispin Road. Um, within that Justice Center, um, we could house classes. Delta has a um, class for justice and then it can transfer into a four-year program at Stanislaus. Um, I'm really excited. This is a wonderful program. Expanding and putting the Judicial Center down, out at Crispin means that we have a major economic engine out there working for tomorrow. And we can bring vocational ed out there. We can do internships. We can do bail bonds classes. We can do probation. Put, Paroles, all of that stuff can be at a one stop. And this is a great thing for our community. It doesn't affect our downtown. As Larry said, most of our families don't want it in our downtown. I wouldn't want it in our residential section, but we could actually make it be a major economic engine. We could do the South County Service Center there. These are all things that we, as being in South County, should be proud of and absolutely looking forward to, because economically, we need to be on the forefront and be the poster child of what economic development looks like in San Joaquin County. I think it's very important that, we, that if there is a South County Courthouse built, it's built in Tracy. Uh, there have been those that advocated in the Bowtie area. I, I don't think that's viable. Uh, we own the, the property of Chrisman. Um, there's enough acreage of Chrisman that it will facilitate both the courthouse and the proposed educational consortium out there. Uh, the, the, the bow tie proposal would require that the property be purchased from the railroad. It needs to be cleaned up. Uh, the much better option is the Chrisman site. We own the property. Um, it's, there's some infrastructure in place. Judge uh, Murray, presiding judge of the county courts, when he informed the community about this, uh, said that the proposal 
or the bid, because that's what it's going to be, it's a bid, we're going to compete for this with, with other area communities, is going to be, have, have to be highly incentivized. So we're either going to have to give them free or very cheap land. Again, we have it in hand already. Um, he even talked about other incentives that might have to be brought forward hypothetically. Uh, if we're spending money to buy land and clean land, we're spending that money that would be better spent incentivizing the program. Uh, if there could be ultimately some, some offshoots of that uh, courthouse combined with the educational thing that, that brings up some of the opportunities Irene's talked about, that would be wonderful. But let's, let's take a deep breath, get realistic. First of all, we've got to land the courthouse. We need to make the best bid we can to get it. And if, if there's economic opportunities, fine. But the, the main thing right now is that the citizens of Tracy need the convenience of doing their court business in Tracy. Uh, more importantly, the police officers of Tracy need the convenience of being able to go to court in Tracy, not having to spend uh, valuable time uh, not patrolling the streets of Tracy, but sitting in a courthouse in Manteca or Lake. Uh, we need to keep our folks here doing their court business, keep our officers here doing their court business and staying close at hand when we need them. So yes, I very, very much support the South County uh, Court being located here, and we have to be able to put forward a very viable, very competitive bid. We're going to have one shot at this, we have to do it right the first time. I definitely endorse bringing the South Courthouse to Tracy Wotai area. Right now, the abandoned railroad yard is calling, beckoning for development. The proposal for more dense housing next to a railroad track is like putting housing right next to a railroad, right next to an airport. You don't need more dense housing as some people would like. We need a courthouse to revitalize the downtown businesses, especially the restaurants. It would follow the same pattern that downtown Stockton has. The courthouse area is the best place in downtown Stockton because not only does it provide restaurants, it's secure. Now people have a problem with, with uh, envisioning incorrectly that crime will follow stop the courthouse. That's not true. What's necessary is a sub uh, substation, a police substation at the multi-mobile station, now called the Tracy Transit Station. That would create a safe environment that would complement the courthouse because instead of driving to Manteca or, or Manteca driving to Tracy, they could take the light rail, they could take the ACE train, they can take bus connections to downtown. Tracy's downtown has always been the, the transportation center. So you need to, other than cars, find an alternative transportation way to get to the, to the courthouse. I believe the downtown courthouse would be in Tracy's best interest because we have connecting transportation for the future there. Thank you.
we're we're both 